Hi everyone, I'm Gregory Z, and you're watching a walk around video of the all new 2015 Hyundai Sonata on portan.org. Yep, just a short four and a half years since the launch of the Breakthrough Sonata YF in 2010, there's already a brand new version of it. This then is the all new 7th generation Sonata LF, and it's here as an alternative to popular D segment sedans such as the Toyota Camry, Honda Accord, and Nissan Tienna. So, in such a short span of time, what's new and what's not? Spare a few minutes to find out all you need to know on the new Sonata. Let's start with the engine choices. Well, actually, make that THE engine choice, as there is only one on offer this time round. The 2015 Sonata is only available with a 2-litre engine, just like the Kia Optima. Surprisingly, the engine in the new car makes less power than before. It now has 152 horsepower and 194 newton meters of torque, 8 horsepower less than the Sonata YF. But on the bright side, peak power is available slightly earlier in the rev range. And as before, Hyundai's own 6-speed automatic gearbox sends power to the front wheels. Apart from that, almost everything on the Sonata is new. The chassis has been redesigned from the ground up, developed at Hyundai's new test centre at the Nürburgring. So, it's much stiffer, with revised suspension, steering, aerodynamics, soundproofing, everything. Looks-wise, it's all new too. It adopts Hyundai's latest Fluidic Sculpture 2.0 design language that's supposed to be more elegant than before. Well, elegant, yes, but it has less of that shock and awe feeling you got from the old YF. They've played it a bit safe with this one, I'm afraid. But hey, maybe this kind of safe styling will outlast its predecessors. Having said that, the YF still looks good now. This top-of-the-range executive version offers bi-xenon headlamps and bigger, nicer 18-inch wheels. Other variants get halogen lights and 17-inch multi-spoke alloys, but otherwise look identical to the most expensive model here. Moving on to the side, this car almost looks like a fastback with such a short boot. It's actually 35mm longer than before, and its wheelbase has been stretched by an extra 10mm too. At over 2.8m, the Sonata's wheelbase is longer than any of its mainstream rivals. The rear end is definitely not as distinctive as the old cars, but it's still handsome though, especially with the warm red glow of the LED tail lights. There is a reason why I'm standing quite a distance away from the car. See what happens when I come closer. Voila! This is Hyundai's Smart Trunk System. It automatically pops the boot open when you stand near the back of the car for more than 3 seconds with the key in your pocket. This is a great feature for when your hands are full with luggage or shopping bags. And the simple activation process looks better than other similar systems that force you to do a kicking motion by the boot like a crazy person. This one works every time. As for the boot itself, it's huge at 510 litres. Hyundai says it can fit up to 4 golf bags at a time, but the boot opening itself is quite small, which can be restrictive for larger items. Also, the rear seats do fold down for extra load space, but not completely flat. Like the exterior, the new Hyundai Sonata's interior is less flamboyant than before. It's a very safe, simple approach. All models get the same silver highlights and black leather upholstery. The difference is in the details, where the top spec car gets grey carbon fibre like trim, while cheaper variants get a brown wood finish. Keyless entry and start, powered driver's seat, dual zone aircon, cruise control, and auto headlights are all standard. The mid range elegance adds on front parking sensors, a full colour supervision cluster, and a touchscreen head unit with navigation. Bluetooth and reverse camera functions. The AVN system is rather nice, as it runs on a relatively new KitKat Android base. It can run Waze navigation on the move 
or any other app that you can install through Google Play. Exclusive to the top executive model are active cornering lamps, panoramic roof, powered front passenger seat, and auto wipers. New to the Sonata is this drive mode button that affects the steering, gearbox, and throttle mappings. Not so new, but still commendable, is rear seat space. The Sonata is still absolutely massive in the back, with generous head, shoulder, and legroom. On the safety front, the Sonata offers electronic stability control as standard across all variants, and all but the base model get the full complement of six airbags. Even better are the warranty details. There's the usual five-year, 300,000km warranty period, and on top of that, Hyundai Sign Derby Motors is also offering an 8-year coverage for the engine and gearbox. The additional 3-year program only applies to first-hand owners though. To know if the Nürburgring tested 2015 Sonata is any good on the road, you can read our full in-depth review on portan.org. Well, that's all from me. If you've liked watching the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until then, thanks for watching.